In this video I have a first aid item for you. I purchased this item because it was cheap. Uh, they're available at KeepShooting.com. The current price for them, when I just looked it up before I started the video here, is $2.75 a piece. These are Polish Army or Polish military field dressings. They're from the Cold War. Uh, I can't say for certain how long ago this was produced because <clears throat> I'm not sure on the numbering system and stuff they use. But I'd want to say going off of what I've seen on the Czech military bandages, these probably were manufactured back in the 1970s, maybe early 80s. The packaging is the same as on the Czech Army uh, field dressings that I did a, pr a video on previously. Now the pictures they have on KeepShooting.com are not very good. So when this showed up, I was expecting it was just going to be a single dressing pad inside here. And if you ever used it, you had to use a separate roll of gauze to hold on. Now when you uh, open this up, you got the reinforced package. There was a little notch on the side. Just rip it, peel it apart. You have a paper covered package inside. On it is a piece of string. Pull that string and it peels the paper apart. Attached to one end of the string is a safety clip which is probably meant for holding the bandage together when it's used. Now you remove the paper and this is what you have inside. This is your dressing. You got here a running end, a long length of gauze, which I have no idea how long it is. And as you see, it's really thin and flimsy. I probably, you probably would not want to uh, yank on it very hard. There are two pads on it with a small piece of gauze, which is probably meant for tying off. This would be your business end that's supposed to go towards the wound. So it was folded up like this inside there. So you would open it up. The sterile side is on the inside here. You would open it up, put it over the wound. Now, if, because these pads are so thin and so small, I seriously would think about just taking the pads like this, just leaving them doubled up, put them over the top of the wound like this, and then start wrapping the gauze going around, wrapping the uh, running end. Now, when you would use it, your first wrap would be directly over the dressing, and then each subsequent time going around, you'll try to cover the ends of the actual pad, the absorbent pad. And then when you're done, if you try tying it off on itself, it could slip. And that's probably why they had the safety pin, you know, pin the uh, different lengths of gauze together to hold it in place. If you do tie a knot on it, do not put the knot directly over the wound. Probably put it to the side. Now... This thing, when I opened it up, I just got the impression of it that it looked almost like a World War II uh, field dressing in just the general construction and everything. These will still work, if you're wondering that. The package was still intact. If you can see inside here, it's a rubber-lined package. There is some bleed-through from the ink but none of the ink was even uh, imprinted on the paper covering, let alone soaked through the covering to the dressing. So the dressing is still usable. It's a real basic dressing. 
and for two dollars and seventy five cents each you really can't beat the price so it is an option uh, would I take this as a primary selection for inside an IFAC or inside my first aid kit probably not uh, if I had to put the first aid stuff that I've used over the years in any type of order my first selection would be a compression dressing aka an Israeli dressing and if I have those used up I would move on to the US military issue field dressings which was the predecessor to the compression dressing if those are used up then I would use the Czech military bandages that I had shown you previously and after that I would use this and if these are used up then I would move on to stacks of gauze pads with gauze roll holding it on so this is still in there for you know consideration for usage as long as the package isn't breached isn't stained or damaged any, in any way the dressing inside should still be sterile so you can still use it even though it's probably 40 years old potentially longer I don't know it's still usable and at two dollars and seventy five cents each it's definitely economical when compared to a compression dressing where you're looking at at least ten dollars a piece field dressings are really all over the place I've seen some people asking US military field dressings are all over the place in price I've seen them from anywhere from two dollars a piece to eight dollars a piece you know it's all on how many where you can get a hold of them and how much the person wants for them but uh, I will put a link for this item in the description for the price you know you really can't beat it it's it's a cheap first aid supply to add to your stuff it would not be a uh, primary choice it would not be my first line selection primarily because of this really thin gauze that's meant to hold this on I just have a feeling if you know you're in any type of combat situation you're gonna put too much pressure on this and you're probably gonna rip this right off if that happens then just use the rest of the roll here and go over the top hold it on and tie it off but you know it's it's an option now for all my engineer brothers in the Patriot Militia movements always remember essay ons <laughs>